all right let's do some kind of things and match and makes our line plot much more beautiful so what we will do is that now i will try to pre-process my data so what i'll do let's go back to my data df so this is what the data df is there with me and this is the original data i have not used the df one now i'm going to use my original data so what i'm having that's years and the sales with me so what i'll do i'll create the two more columns one is with the year and second one is with the quarter so i'll try to visualize the how with respect to the year and how with respect to the quarter my data looks like so first of all, for that what i can have is that you take the years and just try to remember that since the data type so this will work only if the if my data type is date and time then only it will work it will not work for the objects it will not for work for the any kind of data type only it will work for the data type date and time if not you need to convert that into date and time all right so what i'll do here is that let me take years and let me extract the let me extract the year out of it so since if i look into the series of years and this is what the year i just want to take out only the 2001 thing so in order to do that let's take a dt you have the dt and what you want here is year and if you specify the year we can simply extract all our years and similarly if you want month and you can extract the month and if you want quarter you can take out the quarter and if you want days even you can take the days i think day i guess is not days so you can take the days quarter and everything anyway so this is all the options which is available only for the date and time format right so what we'll do i'm interested only in the years now and let me create the new column name which is the year and let me save it into the year small year so with y is small and let me do one more what will create one more column and then name it as quarter all right so if i want to get the quarter here let me take the years column dot dt dot quarter and what we'll get is that if i execute this command df dot head that display the top five rows and as you can see we have the year and what is the quarter number we have we can simply get out of this and if you can see that quarter one indicates january february march is belongs to quarter one and april may june is quarter two and so on so like this we can get the quarters years and so on so what i'll do i will make use of this data and i will create some kind of separation plot let's see what i'm trying to do in this case so let's take this line plot here using the seaborn and scroll down i'll try to copy and paste it here and let's look into the line plot obviously this is the same but here let's say i want to visualize the separate thing like you know i just want to look into the uh, how my area is or what is the color or what is that what is the a deviation which is there in my 2001 2002 2003 separately then what you need to do here is that we have special parameter called hue and take this hue and mention now it is an ear just give it an ear and it will automatically set the color so you can see that the color is being set let me do one thing let me set the different color or different color maps so palette is way of setting the different color maps so and let's look in the set tool is one of the color map now you can see that we have the different colors for the different years and 2001 is this in 2002 2003 4 5 6 and 7 and 8 so it's very very clearly we can visible or we can visualize what kind of the pattern and what kind of the behavior which was there based upon the year this is a very very cool stuff which is was there and there are different ways of having the setting the palettes we have the color color one hsv summer 
there are many more so many things are there many many things are there so my favorite is set one is my personal favorite it's dark and also having the easily to visualize it all right so this is how guys we can able to visualize the line plot and also we can separately use the parameter called hue to separate the year or categoricals hope you enjoy this lecture and we will continue in the next lecture more about the visualizations this time we'll work on area plot thank you very much hey guys thanks for watching this video in the upcoming videos we are going to watch about the powerful visualizations on time series data like area plot bar plot heat maps etc so we are going to see all those things in this upcoming videos please find the description for the urls below on the visualizations on time series data and don't forget to subscribe our channel data science anywhere for more videos and projects on data science thank you very much and happy learning